Have I got a story for you today. I'm coming to you just outside of Glacier National Park. As you can see the river behind me, the other side of that river is Glacier National Park. And the reason I'm not talking to you in the park and to show you what we're going to talk about today is because of a new rule that went into effect last October. And I'm going to vent a little bit here, so please allow me to vent and then we'll get to the story. But there's a new rule that they just put into effect last October that prohibits anybody doing YouTube videos or TikTok or any type of videos that have ads on them. Uh, whether they're your ads or someone else's ads, you have to get a permit now to film in the park. Even if you're just one guy standing here with a tripod like me, they're still making you get a permit. So in true government fashion, this permit that they've come up with is six pages. They want everything you're going to do. They want exactly where you're going to be. They're gonna, they want any kind of stunts you're gonna do, any kind of special effects, any kind of animals you're gonna use. Again, when it's just a guy like me standing here talking, it's a little ridiculous. And the best part is that it's $125 for this permit. Again, that would be great if, if you're guaranteed to get it, but even if they say no, you still owe the $125, it's non-refundable. So you have to put in your permit, wait 20 days, and then hopefully they say yes, because if they don't, you just lit $125 on fire and you get nothing. So that is why I'm standing out here on the other side of the river and not in the park. So not too far from here, just over my right shoulder, McDonald Creek dumps into this river you can see behind me. And some people over there bought a piece of property that borders McDonald Creek and they decided to build a house on that piece of property. And you may be asking, how can people buy property in Glacier Park? Well, I don't know about other parks in the country, other national parks, but Glacier, there is still some private property available here, and that's how they were able to buy the land. Uh, there was a bunch of properties that bordered Lake McDonald before it became a national park, so they were all grandfathered in. So occasionally, some of these properties come available, and as you can imagine, they're very valuable, and everybody wants them, but on a side note, if you're, if you're looking for a property, you want one, let me know and I'll keep my eye out for you. But anyway, back to the story. Whenever you build on a river, whether it's in Glacier Park or any river, there are permits that you have to get. One of them is known as a 310 permit, and that's, I'll show you it in a minute here, but it goes over all the setbacks and how close you can be to the stream bed and how close or how much work you can actually do to the shoreline, all the things that you would expect if you're gonna build along a river. Well, these people did not get that permit and went ahead and just built the house and they built it 20 feet from the actual river. And I've seen this river in the spring. It can get pretty, it can get going pretty good. So it's pretty iffy to, even if they did allow it to build that close. So anyway, they built the house and I'll, you'll see in the pictures here in a minute when I get to my computer, uh, how close it is and how big it is and how far along they got on this project already. They, a bunch of people turned them in and now they've been ordered to tear it down. Again, because I can't be in the park, let's go to a newspaper article. There's been articles in all the papers around Montana about this lately. So I'm gonna just show you on my computer the pictures from the article and talk to you about what they say in the article and you'll get the, the exact story from there. Let's go take a look. So here's the article I was telling you guys about. This is out of the Flathead Beacon and like I said there was articles in the Hungry Horse News, the Daily Interlake, uh, the Helena paper, the Billings paper, the Missoulian, and I used some pictures from these other papers. I think most of the other photos I used were from the Missoulian just so they get their credit. But anyway, this article had the most information, so I'll go over this article uh, and just show you the pictures from the other ones. So this was written by Tristan Scott, and there's the house on the river. 
Uh, and then as I read the article, I'll put up some other photos that show you different angles and exactly how close it was. So this article goes on to say, a California couple constructing a home on a prominent section of Lower McDonald Creek in Glacier National Park must remove the structure because it was built without a valid permit in violation of the Montana Natural Streambed and Land Preservation Act. Under the 1975 statute, any private individual or entity proposing work in or near a stream that physically alters or modifies the bed or immediate banks of a perennial flowing stream must first obtain an approved permit from the local conservation district. Although this case is unique given the project's location inside a national park, case law appears to support the Flathead Conservation District's jurisdictional authority. During a public hearing on March 13th, the Flathead Conservation District Board of Supervisors reviewed and discussed 17 complaints brought by West Glacier residents against John and Stacy Ambler, the owners of a private parcel of land situated within the boundary of Glacier National Park on Lower McDonald Creek near Apgar Village. Last month, on February 27th, a slew of complaints prompted a field investigation by members of the Flathead Conservation District's Board of Supervisors and a representative of Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. In addition to finding that a house was indeed under construction, the on-site inspection revealed that McDonald Creek Stream Bank had been excavated to create a pad for the home's construction. In a unanimous vote at the March 13th hearing, the seven-member board ordered that the structure be removed by November 1st and that the stream bank be restored and revegetated. The work must occur after high water, according to a letter to the Amblers from Flathead Conservation District Board Supervisor Roger Marcinet, and a 310 permit must be obtained prior to beginning both the demolition work and the stream bank restoration. The next one talks a little bit about that permit that I'll show you in a minute. John and Stacy Ambler of San Diego, California, say they purchased the parcel in 2019, but have been visiting the park for more than four decades. In the letter, Ambler said he purchased the lot on Lower McDonald Creek in 2019 and spent numerous hours both researching the history of the parcel and trying to figure out which permits we would need in order to proceed with the build. We spoke to several people at multiple departments in Flathead County and were always told the same thing. The county has no jurisdiction on private land in Glacier National Park, the letter states. In May 2022, we were able to hook into the sewer and water in Apgar through Glacier. We had numerous conversations with the park about permits that they might require and there were none. This build has been completely visible to the park and we've kept them in the loop as to our plans. We've adhered to all their guidelines, and in no way was it a fast build that has not been properly planned, as some have surmised. Then they talk about an email that they received, a 2019 email from a representative of Flathead County Planning and Zoning Office to Stacy Ambler appears to confirm this version of events, stating that we do not regulate the use of the land or any unzoned property. Essentially, you can do what you want with the land without restriction, according to the email obtained by the Beacon. There are no setback or height requirements, no minimum lot size, etc. The county does not have a building department either, so no permits would be needed there. Then it talks about the complaint was filed by West Glacier resident Carol Murphy and her husband. Murphy said she was shocked to see the three-level home under construction on the bank's lower McDonald Creek. The project is visible from Camas Road. So anyway, the rest of the letter just talks about, uh, or the rest of the article just talks about what we discussed earlier. But let's take a look at this 310 permit. And this is just from an informational uh, pamphlet that I got about this specific permit. But anytime you build on a river or near a river or a creek here in Montana, you need to get one of these permits. And like it says here, uh, they just check the stream bank and how close you're going to build and how close you should build uh, and if you're going to do any kind of construction on the actual stream bank itself. All these things have to be approved uh, before they give you this permit that allows you to start building. 
So there you go. The moral of the story is if you're going to build on a river, whether it's in the Glacier Park or anywhere, make sure you get the proper permits because it can get pretty expensive to build a house and then pay to tear it back down again and put all the vegetation and everything back to the way it was. So make sure you consult with myself or anyone else that will know what permits you need before you're going to build on a river here in Montana. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information, and don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.